supposed to be here at eight or nine. Eight o'clock. Oh yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be at eight o'clock. I'm waiting on this to load, but it doesn't look like it's gonna load here. Good morning, everyone. Uh, give me just a moment here. I'm trying to get another uh, a live stream going on YouTube. It's taking me just a minute. We've uh, just just got out of court just now. Um, we've got a lot of, to go over with you, but as some of you have probably already heard, there has been a mistrial declared down here in the Bundy trial. So we've got a lot of work still ahead of us to figure out what's actually gonna happen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Valerie, Kaylee. Um, it's good to see everybody on here. We've got a lot of people. The courtroom was literally packed out today. Uh, there was no more seating room. There was still a ton of people out here in the street um, holding signs and protesting. We'll turn this, this uh, camera around here in a minute and get you some of the um, uh, people that's down here. There are some paid Soros-funded uh, protesters here from the Soros side. There's definitely... Um, All paid. All paid. There's uh, some counter protesters here. Just moments ago, those counter protesters were on la loud megaphones, counter protesting us, saying, "Keep Bundy pro protest, keep Bundy off public land." Um, I, I don't think they're here now. If they are, I don't see them. Um, but they were uh, causing quite a bit of ruckus a while ago. They, um, but. Um, I don't see them at the moment, but there are a lot of people here. Thank you for everyone has showed up. It has um, been overwhelming seeing so many people here and the courtrooms packed out. Let's kind of start from the beginning here this morning. The judge uh, came into the courtroom late again. She was uh, about 31 minutes late. And we, um, she started right out um, with the Brady violations and the prosecutor misconduct. And she um, said the prosecutors were bolstering and had impeachment stuff. They violated due process, multiple Brady claims, um, and that, um, that even started at the eve of the trial. And that this stuff was supposed to be disclosed right from the beginning. It, uh, this started back as early as October the 10th is when all of this information was supposed to be be given over. One thing we were told by the judge today, she said there was 3,300 pages of discovery that has been turned over to the defendants since uh, we started trial. That's 3,300 pages. The defense hasn't even had a chance to go over these 3,300 pages of, of discovery that has been turned over to them. We've got um, the Brady violations, as we all know. Uh, the camera. We've got the um, we've got the um, FBI threat assessments and stuff. And I want to go to that one real quick. There was um, five different threat assessments that were mentioned today. That um, these threat assessments we did not know about before the trial. We actually knew about them, but they weren't in this discovery property properly. A Nevada, a Southern Nevada, 2000. 12 threat assessment, a 2014 BL FBI threat assessment, a Gold Butte impoundment uh, threat assessment, an OES BLM threat assessment. There, there was just multiple ones here that were quoted the day by the judge. The prosecutors actually, through all of this, was totally silent. They didn't even speak through all of this. Um, these, uh, this motion that the judge was answering back and when she declared a mistrial. At one point at the very, very end is when um, she sh stood up and Daniel, she stood up and asked to make some things on the record. Uh, I was told by one defense attorney that it, the prosecutors will definitely um, appeal this probably to the Ninth Circuit District Court, but we've got a lot of stuff here uh, to go over such as that we have until January the 8th. January the 8th, the defense and the prosecutors have a lot of motions to, to go through to declare if this is gonna be with or without prejudice. This trial could continue. We could have a new trial date, and that trial date has been set at this time for February 26th of 2018. But that doesn't mean it's gonna go on. It's just a possibility. We've got a lot of motions in the next couple of weeks over Christmas break here and stuff.
to go over. The jurors were sent home, so we do not uh, have a seated jurors no more. If we have a new trial, we're going to have to pick new jurors. We're going to have to start this thing all over again. We've got a lot of, lot of stuff to work out before now and then. All this misconduct that has been happening for the last three and a half, four years, the, um, this new um, email uh, letter that was sent out uh, with the kill book, the kill list, that's all got to be worked out yet. That wasn't even, hasn't even been brought up at this time. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff between now and then to work out. Um, like I said, January 8th um, is a new hearing set in this trial. An evidential hearing is supposed to possibly be set to determine a lot of things. But that day, January 8th, is our next big day at this point. That's when we will find out if this is going to move on, if it's going to be uh, a mistrial with prejudice or without prejudice. We are hoping with prejudice. That's what we're praying for yet. And um, I, I believe with all the stuff that came out today and the new stuff that's still got to be coming out, that's what we're going to get. It, um, it's obvious the judge has finally seen through this stuff. She had no choice but to declare a mistrial. She um, had a lot of pressure on her today to just, just dismiss it, but she declined to do that at this time, even with all of these Brady violations and other um, misconduct stuff that we have uncovered. So hang in with us. We have a lot more to come with you yet. We got over 100 people down here today. I, I, I didn't count everybody, but I know both sides of the courtroom was totally packed out today. We had a lot of support in there. And um, I, I know we have a lot of work ahead of us. And we appreciate all the supporters that came down here to, um, to be with us today. We've, um, We've had some counter protesters down here. I don't know if they're still down here or not, but a little bit ago they was had a big megaphone and they were yelling, keep Bundy's off public land. But uh, I don't see them or hear them at this moment. But uh, we're gonna turn the camera around here in a minute and just let you see all the supporters that are down here on the street and what we're doing down here. I know the parking in the back was totally packed out. There was no more parking available. It, um, we had to park out on the street and paid parking. Let me see if I can turn this around here. So there we go. We'll get you a view of everybody just kind of down here. There's people from all over. We got Bob here. Thanks for coming again. <laughs> We've got a lot of media down here today. All the way from Oregon. Again, that was a view of a little bit of the people down here. We've got Scott here. Scott, you want to step in a minute? Was you in the courtroom? No, I, I was wasn't in the courtroom. He was down here. Yeah, I was okay. down here watching all this fiasco going on in the street. Well, yeah, it was quite exciting there for a minute. It looked like uh, it looks to me like we've been invaded by some communists over here. Yeah, <laughs> or sometimes referred to as useful idiots. Yes. Are they making any heads or tails over there? Well, it, it seems like the kid on the end's a little confused. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I, you know, this is this is what you get. That's right. That's right. They've been taught real well by Marxist professors. Yes. One point I wanted to make out um, that I didn't make in my my initial report is that one of the things about the the uh, Taurus that was um, in one of the reports there was a um, let me let me just flip to that page right now that the judge made a statement that was in a 302 report made by a BLM officer claiming that 
the um, that the desert tourists were not in any danger. This was not made public to the defense. They said it, the cows did not, the grazing rights and the cows did not danger these desert tourists as the BLM originally stated, and that um, and that this was withheld from the defense all this whole time. So that was a big thing, and I don't see the actual notes. I've got a, quite a bit of notes I wrote down this morning. I'll try to go over these again and do another live stream later and just go over each detail of all these, um, these um, what, what happened today. One thing that Ryan Bundy did at the very last, Ryan Bundy stood up and he made a oral motion to release all the defendants on their own reconnaissance immediately. And the judge um, said, I expected this. I'm not prepared to make a decision on it at this moment. We need to talk to the pretrial release office um, to, to see, see what they're thinking. They don't even know my ruling. She said, no one knew my ruling. I even went up in the elevator with another judge in this court, courthouse and no one knew what my decision was going to be. So she said, you guys are the first to know. And uh, a lot of things have got to be heard. But Ryan Bundy, in his... Um, in his oral motion here to, at the end of the end of this hearing, he said, I'm making a motion for Cliven Bundy to be released, uh, Todd Engel to be released, Greg Burleson to be released, and Jerry DeLumis because of all of this new evidence that has uh, came out of misconduct that the government has done. Not only the prosecutors have misconduct, but the FBI was found with misconduct today. So there, there is a lot of stuff yet ahead of us. We know that because of what was all uh, declared today. Um, it was not declared uh, with or without prejudice yet. This trial could continue. We have a new trial date set again for February the 26th um, that could take place. But before now and then, we have lots and lots of motions uh, over this Christmas break to start fighting for. And January 8th, is that deadline in our next motion to be in court here, January 8th, and we could find out if it's going to be with or without prejudice. And the trial may be totally done at that time. I'm going to glance at my notes one more time just to see if there's anything I missed. Uh, one thing the judge made a statement. She said, a fair trial is impossible at this time. So a fair trial is impossible. So I did not stay in the room until when the jurors came in, but the jurors were released today and sent home. If we go through a new trial, new jurors will have to be picked, and we um, would definitely have a lot of work ahead of us here. It, um, she mentioned multiple times the display of misconduct from this prosecution and the FBI and the BLM. I, I counted eight, eight, eight Brady violations that she actually mentioned in open court today. One other point I did, I did forget to mention. She is ordering the defense team and the prosecutors to go through all this sealed uh, discovery and release it to the public and just redact names to keep people safe. So she's ordering this, this discovery to be released to the public. There has been another hearing set for that to declare that if it's all been released or it has been and the Review Journal, Las Vegas Review Journal is going to be a part of that hearing and that's set for January 8th also at 9 o'clock. So this, all this discovery is supposed to be released to us uh, very soon, which was a, a, a big win also, something we've been demanding and asking all this sealed discovery, all this information to be made public and she made that. Uh, ruling today to make it public and January 8th we're going to hear that along with if it's going to be with or without prejudice on this mistrial again thank you I will turn this camera around one more time I'll let you see everybody that's down here and uh, we'll keep you updated uh, first thing we hear of anything new coming uh, we don't have any court tomorrow we don't have any court at all now until January 8th so we're done down here uh, well, uh, hopefully these defendants can go home for Christmas. Uh, hopefully Clive and Bundy gets released and um, gets to go home for Christmas on his own recognizance without any type of restrictions, um, ankle monitors, house arrest, things like that, because we know that most likely Clive and Bundy will continue sitting in jail until this all gets sorted out. Again, we're going to turn the camera around here, let you look at everybody down here. 
and uh, all the signs. I know there's over 100 people down here from all over, as far as Missouri, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, other places. Hi, Vince. Thank you for joining us. God bless, and we'll keep you updated as soon as we have any more information down here on the Bundy trial and what's going on. We'll have you some um, some more uh, information maybe here in the next day or two about this mistrial that's just declared. I see it looks like somebody else commented here about a mistrial. But it has been a mistrial declared one last time. All these men should have never been held this time. They were innocent. It's been proven more so the day than ever the misconduct of these government um, employees, the BLM officers, the, um, the FBI, and the, um, and, and the prosecutors have been exposed today once and for all. All this stuff is going to be released. Uh, these sealed documents, we're going to get them. So again, thank you everyone. We um, will have you some more updates as soon as we can. Keep praying for us.